welcome back to another video so today we are doing mid latitude cyclones yeah it's part of your climatology it's definitely going to be examined and the reason why is because mid latitude cyclones affect south africa particularly um the western cape new cape town and so forth so yeah don't skip this chapter <laughs> it's quite important but yeah first things first the characteristics that you need to know about mid-latitude cyclones as the name kind of gives it away mid it's in the middle they occur between 30 and 60 degrees both north and south like in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere second characteristics that you need to know is that they move in a westerly direction meaning they move from west to east yeah that's another characteristic that you need so i'm going to look down from time to time just so that i'm kind of aware of what i'm speaking about and all that stuff but yeah so do bear with me in that regard ah something very important in the southern hemisphere a mid-latitude cyclone will move in the air will move in a clockwise direction whereas in the northern hemisphere it will move in a anti-clockwise direction and another key thing that you need to know is that it is a low pressure system if you remember from grade 11 low pressure system means that it is rising air rising air and when air rises it e it heats up yeah so that should already tell you a bit give you a clue of the weather conditions that are going to be associated based on the soil so yeah okay so i'm not going to go into much detail about the stages you can just go through it in your textbooks and so forth but a tip that i will give you is to focus on the mature stage do focus on the mature stage because from past experience and past examinations that is often the one they examine the most not all of them but pay extra attention to that one so yeah i believe you learn better with questions so okay so the question tells us that diagram questions. below shows a mid-latitude cyclone you won't always be that lucky that they tell you <laughs> that it's a mid-latitude cyclone because it could be part of the question where they ask you what it shows so yeah let's go question 1.1 what evidence in the diagram shows that cape town is experiencing winter it's the mid-latitude cyclones so mid-latitude cyclones occur during winter in south africa so that's how you know that it is a mid that's how you know that it's it's winter the mid-latitude cyclone because they did not show you air temperature they did not show you any other factors so it's merely that presence of the mid-latitude cyclone next question does front x or front y have a greater effect on the weather of cape town it's front x okay they don't ask why but in case you want if they asked why you would say because it, it is it is closer and also yeah i mean it's closer <laughs> that's the biggest reason okay 1.3 the weather service forecasts severe weather conditions for cape town state two of these expected weather conditions please 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 know all the weather conditions so yeah um two of them is that thunderstorms um it's, they're going to be thunderstorms um strong winds some of them even like gale winds and another one that you could mention is um a possibility of snow due to the low temperatures so there are several factors but i always just remember those ones because of the fact that it's a low pressure system so with a low pressure system there will be rainfall and also it's in winter so <laughs> temperatures are gonna drop so yeah just remember temperature um wind and precipitation yeah then you'll be good anything else is a bonus but yeah 1.4 explain how the severe weather conditions will affect people living in informal settlements in cape town they also like this question a lot they always want to see how you will apply you know your knowledge i mean it's there in your textbooks but 
just always know how it actually affects people on a day-to-day -day basis. So they will afflict people living in formal settlements because one, they don't have proper shelter. So the strong winds, um, people living in informal sh settlements, the, the, the shelters aren't strong enough. So, you know, the structures will be blown away. And also with the heavy rainfall, there will be flooding. So, you know, water can enter in their houses. And yeah, so that's what I would say. <laughs> but there's plenty more reasons that I will just paste, you know. But yeah. Explain why there will be a difference in the weather experience at Cape Town and at Muscle Bay. It's because Muscle Bay is further away from the cold front and closer to the warm front. So that is why there will be a significant difference in temperature experienced. Next question. Study the diagram below of a cross section of a mid latitude cyclone. Name front A. Front A is a cold front. How do we know that it is a cold front? Because of B. B is a cumulonimbus cloud. That's the next question, but I'm just just helping you um, identify what front A is. So because of the presence of the cumulonimbus clouds and the heavy rainfall, you obviously know that that is a cold front. You know, front A is a cold front because that's the weather that is associated with a cold front. 2.2a name cloud type b i've already said it's a cumulonimbus cloud account for the type of cloud at b which is associated with this weather system so they're basically asking you what formed b why is why is the cumulonimbus cloud a cumulonimbus cloud um remember earlier when i mentioned the low pressure that it's a low pressure cell so with a low pressure there is uh, a rise there's an ascending of warm air and so that rapid uplift of warm air causes condensation and you know the formation of a cumulonimbus cloud if you remember from grade 12 if you remember from grade 10 but yeah it's mainly because of the fact that warm air rises yeah and it rises rapidly so that causes the cumulonimbus cloud hope i didn't confuse you 2.3 why does the warm front seldom influence the weather of south africa because it is too far from south africa like it's it's too far to affect us so yeah 